Hello there, I'm Pat Archibald, I'm a textile artist. All my pieces are inspired by my travels. I go on some amazing adventures, including climbing some of the world's highest mountains, to travels in Rajasthan, to travels in Hong Kong, and also inspired very much by my homeland of Scotland. So in this piece here, this is, uh, depicts my climb up Kilimanjaro and really shows a road leading into the mountain and shows the colours of the dawn in Africa, colours and heat of the midday sun and that wonderful purple that just envelops you at six o'clock at night. So when travelling in Rajasthan, I met some of the desert people up there and I've used them as inspiration for my pieces. What I like to do with my travels is look at the people that I meet there and also study the traditional patterns that appear in the textiles of that area. And then I look at the colours of the country and try and combine that into one piece. And in this piece here, these are called the desert ghosts. I've depicted the people as ghosts because people are transient. They come in and out of your life. They're there for a very short space of time, but the land stays constant. I spent some time with a block printing guru when I traveled in Rajasthan and learned so much from him. And the block printing techniques I've adapted and put into my own work and you can see those in several of the pieces here as well. So this piece that I'm standing beside is called a Celtic wedding kimono and it kind of crosses some cultural borders here. So there's quite a lot about Scotland in it but there's quite a lot about Japan as well. It was a gift made for my daughter and her husband for their wedding. And on the left-hand panel, it features Celtic interlace symbols. And these represent eternity, a good quality for marriage. But the symbols on the right-hand panel are taken from Japanese kimonos, symbols that would traditionally appear on a Japanese wedding kimono. So they represent fortitude, flexibility and strength. Again, all good qualities to have in a marriage. And the colours in this quilt are very significant as well because my daughter met her future husband in Edinburgh, in the big city. So the left-hand panel shows the bright colours of the city. And as your eyes move across the quilt to the right-hand panel, then these are the colours of North Uist, a small island on the Outer Hebrides of Scotland, where they've now settled and made their home. <laughs> 